And I always remember getting off the train, I got into this car, there was um, two brothers and a priest. And one of them said to me, do you smoke? I said, yes. He says, well, I'd smoke every cigarette I've got because you don't smoke air. The first memory is scrubbing staircases. In the yard we used to play football, Gaelic and, you know, things that I, I thought it was a real lads thing. You know, it was it's great. It wasn't to last long. The main memory of it is the coldness. Everything was always cold. Yeah. You were never warm in bed, you were never warm at all. You were always hungry. I noticed everybody was quiet. And, you know, that's kind of only comes with time. Thinking back and thinking so hard about what it was like when I arrived there. Um, which bloke did I speak to? I actually didn't speak to any blokes, you know. So I remember they brought me up to the dormitory and that frightened the life out of me. It frightened the life out of me because all the beds was covered in these blue sheets. Now I've never been to a mug in my life but it looked like that because all the bedclothes was covered with these blue sheets. They were kind of sheets you put over the bed when you made your bed in the morning. I don't remember seeing Christmas trees, Christmas lights, anything like that. If we got a present it got taken away again. Your clothes never fit you, your shoes never fit you. They were overgrown, over big. Basically, really, we were like unpaid skivvies. But the sexual abuse started almost immediately. We used to get a small amount of liquid a day, say about a couple about that big, was water in. A lot of us actually drank water out of the toilet. Very unhygienic, I know, but needs must. A lot of the kids ate grass. A lot of pinched crab apples. I used to eat honeysuckle plants, I think they're called, like a weed, yeah. um, to actually stop the hunger pangs. Um, and yet, at the same time, from the nuns' quarters, you could smell this lovely aroma of food coming. Yeah. You know, potatoes with yuck in them. It, it, literally, it was slops. I wouldn't feed it to a pig, to be quite honest with yeah. you. But in all the time I was there, I'd never seen anybody in authority Anybody come and say, how are you getting on? How's the food? The food was absolute shit. I never in my life heard of a black pudding stew till I went to Cork. And we actually got stew and sometimes the potatoes, most times, all the potatoes wouldn't be peeled. Some of them were bad and it stunk. And it'll probably surprise you. I love Tony days. I know you probably think I'm an atheist. I'm not. I love Tony days because on holy days, it was a different ball game. You got jelly, custard, roast potatoes. So they had the, the, the ability to do it. But because it was a holy day, you were treated like that. And then when the holy days would finish, it was back to that. I think you're the first bloke I spoke to, and you're younger than my son, and I haven't broke down. But there's times when I feel like it. Because some of the memories are fucking horrible. unbelievable. You know, if, if somebody was to tell me this and, you know, I was having a kind of good day or something or there was something else on my mind, I wouldn't believe it. And sometimes I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it, you know.